you've had a chance to experience your lives together. With bumps along the way, you have learned what it means to love one another. Through the good times and bad, I have had the honor and privilege to witness both of you learn to coexist as a couple. Getting married today is only one small step towards the true meaning of marriage. Marriage is not just putting on a beautiful dress or a nice suit. It isn't about having a big party, celebrating with friends and family, or partying to late hours of the night. All those things are what a wedding is about, but not what marriage is about. Marriage is about the continued learning of not just living together as a couple of two separate lives, but living your lives one complete life. It means continuing moving forward as a couple and working towards the success of your family. A good marriage must be created. It is never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you every day. And it's just not marrying the right person and being the right partner. Let nothing stand in the way of your marriage. By the power and authority vested in me by American Marriage Ministries in the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. On behalf of Ryan and Sydney, I'd like to say we appreciate everyone for coming out and celebrate their special day today. Uh, I hope everybody enjoys the food and the drinks and everybody has a great time tonight. First, I'd like to thank everyone for being here tonight to celebrate the happy couple. I know it means a lot to have you all here. And second, and most importantly of all, I'd like to say to Sydney, you look absolutely stunning tonight. And Ryan, I'll give you a 6 out of 10. Uh, Ryan and I grew up together, but really never became best friends until about uh, a few months ago this year, when he actually <laughs> asked me to be his best man. And then I decided to take our relationship to the next level. So when Ryan came to the picture, I was a little protective of my friend. I remember a car ride with Sydney where we talked about this new older boy that she kind of liked, who I never met. And when I say we talked, I pretty much spent the entire car ride to and from the movie interrogating her about him and telling her how I was not so sure about this. But thankfully, she did not listen. Honestly, though, Ryan is more than a friend. He's a man you can count on if you ever need this thing. He's a guy that would stand by your side when you keep your shit. He'd probably be wearing waders and gloves so he didn't get dirty, but he'd still be there. I think that there would be no man not only good enough for Sydney, but also capable of handling the package deal that came with her, which was Brittany and myself. But then I finally met Ryan. Just from seeing the way Ryan looked at Sydney, how happy he made her, how he was with her family, and how quickly he went from being just my friend's boyfriend to my close friend, I knew that Sydney had found her soulmate, and that one day we'd all be here celebrating their marriage. Ryan, I cannot ask for a better man for Sydney. I mean, we're seriously everything she's ever talked about wanting growing up. But most importantly, you love her unconditionally and have never asked her to be anything more or less than what she is, and that's more than anyone could ask for her. Most of all, he's a man that I'm proud to call a brother. Sydney, I have no doubt Ryan will be a great husband and even better cop. So, if you could all raise your glasses. I know I speak for everyone in this room when I say that we all wish you Tonight, we all wish you a long, healthy, and happy life together. Let's toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Hotel, and finally, cheers!
So for everyone that still has your glasses raised, thanks for being a good sport, and all that strength to Mr. and Mrs. Hogan. Congratulations.